Wilden Eslund, welcome to Cannes. Thank you. You have been here before? Uh, yes, I've been here with all my films except from the first one. And this is my, is it my sixth film? Wait, I have to count. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I've been here five times before. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you're here in Cannes with your new movie, Triangle of Sadness. Yeah. It was also shooting during the pandemic, might some challenges. And uh, now you're here and you're in the competition. So what are your feelings? Uh, well, tomorrow we have the screening, so I'm a little bit nervous for the screening. Uh, um, I hope everything will go well. Uh, I know a little bit about the reception already on the film because we have had good response from um, different sales screenings and so on we have had. Uh, but I, I'm, I just want everything technically to, to run smoothly tomorrow. Uh, but I'm also very happy to be here, of course. We have had as a goal for five years that we should uh, be in competition with the film. And every decision that we have made, I've basically been towards the screening in Lumiere uh, to present the film uh, for, the, for the cinema world in, in Cannes. So, uh, yeah. So, we talked a little about this before in a press conference. Uh, have you felt more pressure now because of the success you had before? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I have. Uh, I mean, I think the expectation from everybody involved is that it should be in competition. On the previous films it had been like, wow, it's in competition, fantastic. But this time it's like everybody's just expecting it to be in competition because, uh, because the square won the Pandor. And, uh, uh, but but it, uh, um, the competition is so hard because uh, uh, there's so many films that is applying for Cannes and so on. So when, it, when you finally get the, the news that it is in competition, then it, it was a relief, basically. And for this time also you had a bigger budget to work with? Yeah. And you have some uh, bigger names. You had Woody Harrison. Mm -hmm. How was it to work with him and get him on board? Uh, it was great. He was uh, he's playing a Marxist captain that is uh, uh, ranting from the communistic manifest to throwing up uh, uh, passengers on a luxury yacht. They are, they are in a storm and he gets very drunk, um, Woody Harrison's uh, character. Uh, so he plays a kind of wild, uh, wild character. And we had a lot of fun of shooting. Uh, we were shooting in Trollhättan in Sweden in a studio uh, because we built uh, the yacht, the interior of the yacht in a studio in Sweden. Uh, so it, it's a long time ago now, but I remember it as it was uh, really fun. Okay, I wish you all the best in Cannes and the best of luck with the movie.